Today I'm sharing everything from losing my job, finding a new one, from personal struggles to moments of joy, and how I found my way back to making videos. And believe me, it's a wild ride. Buckle up, because it is going to be personal, real, and hopefully inspirational. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tarn Josh. It's been a long time, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I kind of disappeared for almost an year now. And I want to open up with you about why that happened. If you have been following my channel, you know that I moved to Canada in December 2022. By Feb 2023, I landed a job in one of my dream companies. Everything seemed to be going well. A fresh start in a new country, a stable job, and the hope of bringing my family together again. But just then, when I was thinking everything was falling into place, life threw me a massive curveball. When my wife and I initially moved to Canada, we had to leave our one-year-old daughter in India with my parents. It was one of the hardest decisions we have ever made, but we wanted to make sure we were settled here before we bring her over. Fast forward to September 2023, things were finally looking stable. My wife flew back to India and she brought our daughter to Canada. I took a couple of weeks off from work to spend time with her. I really wanted that time to connect back with my daughter. Those two weeks were like pure happiness. Our little family was finally together. It felt like a dream come true. Towards the end of October, I had a work trip to Toronto for a client workshop. I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to bring my wife and daughter along, so we booked the tickets together. We were all excited for the trip. Everything felt perfect and we were ready to make beautiful memories as a family. It was October 15th, 2023. A Sunday, I was preparing to return to my work the next day. I was catching up with some documents to get ready for the week ahead. And then it was Wednesday, October 18th. It was our third engagement anniversary. I woke up at 6 a.m. in the morning, as usual, getting ready for my work. And then I opened my inbox and there it was. An email from my company saying they were laying off employees. And those who received this email, people like me, were the ones that were affected. My heart sank. I was literally in shock. And just like that, in a snap of a second, the job I thought was secure. The job that helped us bring our daughter here was gone. It's hard to put it in words how devastating that moment was. And suddenly, everything I worked for was at risk. Then all these thoughts started rushing into my brain, saying, you have a family depending on you. Financial pressure, the uncertainty of not knowing how I was going to provide for my family. It was all consuming. I had to face my wife and tell her that everything we built could be in jeopardy. Beside the uncertainty, my wife believed in me. She was incredibly supportive even though she was juggling with her college and all this added stress. Her strength and positivity was all I needed during the dark times. And having her by my side felt like an incredible blessing that kept me going. The following months were one of the toughest I have faced. December was particularly rough. No job leads, shaky finances, and winter in Canada. I felt all dark, both literally and emotionally. At one point, I genuinely thought I would never find a job in Canada. And it seemed like all hope is slipping away. But despite feeling defeated, I refused to give up. I kept on tweaking my resume, working on my portfolio, and most importantly, holding on to that hope that something eventually will come through. And in April 2024, finally, I got four interviews, literally four. After months of silence, I suddenly felt a little bit of hope and three of them, I could not make it. But like everything happens for our good, finally, one last interview led me to a new job in one of the Canada's largest telecom companies. You would think once I got the job, everything would be normal, but yeah, it kind of financially did help me to become stable. It also got me really busy in the best way possible. I started my new job in May 2024 and right off the bat, it was full on from the start. 
But between all this busyness, I wanted to make sure we had time to enjoy life as a family. So we planned a wonderful trip to New York. It was amazing exploring the city, experiencing the energy and cherishing those moments after all we have been through in those past few months. We also moved into a new home soon after. It was hectic, sure, but it was a good kind of hectic. And while all of this was going on, I knew I wanted to come back here to reconnect with you all, to share my journey and pick up where I left off. Finally, I found that moment and it feels so good to be making videos again. The whole experience taught me a lot about resilience. Life is unpredictable. One moment it feels like it is falling into place perfectly. And the next, we are faced with challenges we never imagined. But through it all, I learned that we need to keep pushing. Even when the world feels like it's against you, we have to adapt lean on to our loved ones for support and find that inner strength to keep moving forward. If there is one takeaway from my story, it is this. Setbacks are inevitable, but they don't define who we are. What truly defines us is how we respond and how we keep going even when the path ahead seems impossible. It's about finding the light, however small it is, and letting that guide us through the darkest of times. I wanted to share this to you because I know some of you might be facing the challenges of your own. Maybe you are struggling with job loss or feeling overwhelmed in other aspects of life. Just know that you are not alone and things can and will become better. If this video helped you in any way or if you are going through something similar, drop a comment below. I'll try to respond to each and every comment possible, no matter how tough things get. We all have the power to bounce back. Thank you everyone for sticking through this journey. If you're new here, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more real life stories. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.